Good morning, good afternoon. Um, I will record a video showing you how to create a timestamp uh, timestamp using uh, Google Script. Um, so we will do this using the on edit function. If you're not familiar with on edit, have a look at the Google website to explain you what it does. Um, but essentially it triggers a script every time the value of a cell is changed. Um, so that's uh, what we'll be using. So if you look at our example, um, I want to make sure that every time I change the status um, in this column, in column C, um, the date and the time will, uh, at which this cell has been modified um, will be displayed here, right? So you can see at the moment, um, just clicking this, but nothing is happening, obviously, because there's no script at the back. Um, so as usual, open your script editor. We need to change my function to the one colon edit with the argument E. Uh, I need to start by declaring a few variables, um, the one called sheets to start with. So um, that E dot source dot get active sheet. So you can see it's a bit annoying because um, when you use that uh, function, there's no auto completion. So just make sure that you're typing things correctly. Uh, it is case sensitive, case sensitive. So don't uh, don't forget any capital letter or anything. Otherwise, you get some errors. Um, I also want to know the row and the column of the cell that I'm um, that I'm changing, and you'll understand why in a second. Um, so we'll just declare two variables, one called this row and another one called this column. And a, they will be equal to e.range.getRow and e.range.getColumn. Okay. So once we have this, we can essentially change the um, or a, a, a set of value, edit the cell, and that is adjacent to um, to the one that we are changing, the one that is next next to it, right? So um, I'll just show you how that um, get range to uh, identify which one is the target cell. So it's on the same row as the one that we're editing, that we're changing in the first place, uh, but it's on the next column, right? Uh, and then I will just use set value. And just for the example, uh, we'll just use something called edit it. Okay. Uh, let's save this and see whether that works or not. So if I change this now, um, you can see that um, it automatically pops up um, or writes edit it in the next cell. The only issue that I have, and it's a big one, um, is that that doesn't only apply in that column. Uh, but it applies on every single cell in the spreadsheet. So you can see that if I type here, um, it um, is it in the next uh, column here as well. So it, it's quite annoying because it's really not the purpose um, of the script that we want to write. We really want the script to only applies to uh, these cells, right? That are between C3 and C12. So um, we will have to define this area here and I will create a variable called status column and I will um, add three um, parameters, um, top, bottom and column that will really um, define that area. So let me, uh, let me show you how. Um, so let's just create one call. Let's, I'll just call it status column equal and then we'll add a few parameters in there. Um, the first one will be called top, bottom, and core. Um, so we can see that uh, this uh, area starts at C3, so on the row 3 to row 12, and that's column C. So we're only talking numbers, so column A will be 1, 2, and 3. So in here, what I will have is the top parameter will be number 3, then bottom will be 12, and the column will be 3. So now that I've defined this, um, this area, uh, we need to create an if statement so that this um, script only runs um, when we edit one of the cell in this area. So let's start. Um, 
now each statement would be um, so if uh, this row is greater or equal to status column dot top and this row is less or equal to status column that bottom and this um, column is equal to um, status column that call okay um, let's see if that works I'll just put the bracket here just save it uh, we have an error I forgot all the commas here so sorry okay let's see if that uh, works now so I just did everything uh, and you can see that um, okay if I change something here I will show edit it here as well on the last one as well but if I change something outside of this um, of this targeted area, it should not write edit it, right? So let's just start, try again. Okay, so you can see that it works. Um, not a not a problem. So now there's a couple of things that I'd like to do. The first thing that I'd like to do is to change this edit it by the current date and time. Um, so that's uh, pretty easy. We'll just uh, change edited here by new date, which is the function that gives us the current date and time. So let's see if that works now. Okay, so you can see that every time I change it now, um, it doesn't show edited anymore, but it shows the date and the time. Um, you can't really see properly because um, the format is not uh, is not showing the, the full uh, data, so I will just change format number to date and time. So you can see live now when I change this one, it's also updated the seconds here, okay? Uh, and that should work for every single uh, value. Um, so that's great. I think that's the first thing that we do. Um, however, sometimes you need to edit that uh, column and let's say reset it. So uh, what I would like to do is every time I delete the data that is in here um, to um, set this uh, last change column to um, blank because I, I don't want the time to uh, to change, right? So or to, to show if I have no data in here. At the moment, you can see that if I erase the content, it also updates that. Um, so that's not really ideal. That's not what we want to do. And we want um, we want this to happen only when um, when there is actually data in there. So uh, we'll just relook at our if statement here. Um, and I only want to make sure that this uh, the time is changing when um, there when, when there is actually a, um, a value in there or when it's not uh, blank right so I will just have to add um, e dot range dot get value um, should not be equal to blank um, but another thing that we need to do is that if there's a, so it means that this script will only run if uh, there's a content in this cell. Um, but if we erase the data, so I'll just um, get the exact same if statement uh, and say that um, if the data now becomes blank, uh, what we want to do, we'll just set the value to something blank as well. Okay, so let's save and see if it works. So let's remove all of this. Um, now we'll change this status, and you can see that the date is changing. Should work here as well. Should also work here. Uh, should not work here as was the case before. And now let's see what happens when I erase the status. 
you can see that the date is um, disappearing. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's essentially what I wanted to, to show you today. It's very useful if you build an app that maintains a, a log or you really want to keep track of the of the time when you uh, are changing certain uh, column. So yeah, that was, uh, that was it for today. If you like what you saw, um, subscribe to our um, channel and let me know what, uh, what other videos you'd like to, to see. Thank you.